Robin Hitchcock and the Egyptians in a song called Heaven. Now, I first saw that bloke perform uh, some seven years ago with his old group, the Soft Boys. The songs then were daft, they were disturbing, they were unlikely to get on top of the pops. But now, seven years later, they're exactly the same. And I'm glad to say there's another one on the programme a bit later on. Also, Paul Young on film. The next song our studio artists are going to perform for you, they are doing partly at my suggestion. It does contain, you see, my all-time favourite pair, pair of lines. Possibly, indeed, the greatest couplet in the entire history of the pop lyric, and it goes like this. I'm quoting. All aboard Brenda's Iron Sledge, please don't call me Reg, it's not my name. I give you Robin Hitchcock and the Egyptians. <laughs> Top, a comfortable and sitting 
One of the most regular fixtures on American, American college radio at the moment is a British songwriter who's been producing utterly brilliant and original songs for the last 10 years, but nobody over here ever seems to want to buy any. But the Americans love him. They love him so much that excited audiences occasionally throw buckets of prawns at him. In fact, one bloke, in fact, travelled several hundred miles just to get the great man to personally autograph his plastic lobster. This is the man who gave the world the Please Don't Call Me Reg t-shirt, Robin Hitchcock and his Egyptians. This is a very simple song about a guy who has problems with his father and in the end he has to bury him while he's still alive so he can weep over his grave before he's actually dead. And, uh, but the thing is, it's a huge great graveyard where he's buried. So he hits on the device of making his father illuminated where he lies in the ground so he can see the glow shining up through the earth so he knows which one is his dad's grave. Uh, it's called Man with a Light Bulb Head.
You ain't one, two, three, four. Uncorrected personality traits that seem whimsical in a child may prove to be ugly in a fully grown adult. Lack of involvement with the father or over-involvement with the mother can result in lack of ability to relate to sexual peers. And in homosexual leanings, narcissism, transsexuality, girls from the waist up, men from the waist down, attempts to be your own love object. Reconcile your parents to you by becoming both at once. Even Marilyn Monroe was a man, but this tends to get overlooked by our mother fixated, overweight, sexist media. So, uncorrected personality traits that seem whimsical in a child may prove to be ugly in a fully grown adult. If you give in to them every time they cry, they will become little tyrants and they won't remember why. Then when they are thwarted by people in later life, they will become psychotic and they won't make an ideal husband or wife. The spoiled baby grows into the escapist teenager who's the adult alcoholic who's the middle-aged suicide. Oi! So! Uncorrected personality traits that seem whimsical in a child may prove to be ugly in a fully grown adult. Thank you. The uncorrected personality traits of Robin Hitchcock and the Egyptians.